In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. My dear good people, I'm sure you are well. It is Saturday, the 19th day of June in the year of our Lord and Savior, 2021. We are on day 22 in our 40 days novena for family deliverance. We are progressing very well, and I thank God for what is happening out there in our families. And as I told you, and it is evident, this novena for family deliverance is changing lives of families. It is bringing back people home who may have deserted their responsibilities. Yesterday, I received a very encouraging information that a man who deserted his family 20 years ago came back home. And the, the gracious mother who told me that, uh, told me that for, um, when they started this novena, they had only one singular intention, the whole family, to pray for their dad to come back home alive. And uh, on the 20th, on the 20th day of the novena, the man who was away for 20 years, of being, after being in marriage for 20 years, came back. Now that is God's doing. It is not any accident. It is God's doing. And many, many, many others. I have received various informations and numerous informations of uh, information about children who have turned around and life is becoming very good. Now, that aside, and we thank God. Tomorrow is Sunday, the 12th Sunday in Ordinary Time. And tomorrow the whole world is celebrating fatherhood and fathers. And I have decided uh, to get a few days to say something about our fathers and fatherhood and why it is important that we encourage them, these men who we call our fathers. And you remember, this is part of what is driving a number of things that we have in our family dysfunctions. Some came because of either the fatherhood was wanting or it was completely absent. Whatever the case, I want us this day to say something good about our fathers. And today, I want to say a special prayer during Mass, which will come later uh, at 9 a.m. later today. And today I have two Masses. There is this, uh, the early morning one, and later in the evening, and I want to dedicate these two masses for all the fathers. So, I know you have my, my phone number, 0721, you can see it there, 0721 421 Send me your prayer intention and the name of the man you want to pray for. The man who made you a dad, could be your husband, maybe a friend, maybe a colleague. And dear men, I want to encourage you to pray for yourselves. So I want to receive um, text messages from men praying for themselves. I want somebody to tell me that, Father, I am Peter Gechoke, uh, and I am a husband and a dad. Uh, today I'm praying for myself. That is important. I am praying for myself. So Peter Gechoke and the others, and the other Gechokes, <laughs> See that you are praying for yourself as a dad, you are praying for yourself as a husband. And one of the things I want to encourage men to pray for today, and that is why I want to dedicate the two masses for those men, for all these men. Dear men, today as you pray, I want you to tell God that among the many things you want to pray for, is that you, you as an individual, you will not be the start or the genesis of your family's 
generational dysfunction. The generational curses we are dealing with today started some one day many years ago with some men like you, some dads like you, some husbands like you. So today, I want you to tell God, as the Lord lives, I don't want to be the genesis of any curse in years to come. And that is exactly what will be my prayer also, that, the God, that God may protect you in whatever that you will do so that you can stand and stand firm. So, dear men, tomorrow, as the world celebrates you, I want you to know one thing today, that Father C.K. prays for you all the time. That Father C.K., prays for you unceasingly. And Father CK will never stop loving you. Please, send me your prayer requests for all the women who have their dads, whether your dad is a good man or not, let us pray for him, please. And tell me where you are praying for him. Could he be sick? Could he be struggling? Could he be just a successful man? You are just thanking God? Yes. Let us also thank God for those men and for those dads who are well behaved, who are so responsible, who are doing a very good job. Unfortunately, we never mentioned those good men and they are the majority. If you didn't know, know today. The great men, responsible husbands and dads are the majority in this world. Unfortunately, when two of them falter, now we want to tell the world that all husbands have a problem. All men have a problem. All dads have a problem. That is not true. So let us also send messages of thanksgiving to those men who are doing quite a lot. And tomorrow, as we celebrate them, we don't want to have one day of celebrating fatherhood. I want us to make it our lifestyle. Let it be an attitude on our side that these men, we will always and always and always pray for them. I know that when you talk about fatherhood, one thing comes to mind, our Father in heaven. Dear men, may our Father in heaven be your guide, your protector, and your teacher. The world may not celebrate you. Do the best that you can. Our Father in heaven celebrates you just the way you are. The world may not love you. Your Father in heaven loves you just the way you are. The world may not provide for you. Your Father in heaven will provide for you. Always ready. He is the God of more than enough. He has enough for you and for your generations to come. The world may not protect you. He is your protector. The world may not heal you. He is your healer. Yes, he is. And be strong Know that. The world may not validate you. Your Father in heaven will validate you all the time. The world will call you names. Your Father in heaven will always call you by your name. Whatever entanglement you may be in, your Father in heaven is ready and willing to cut the chains and free you. Dear brothers, please know that he who the Son sets free is free indeed. So as we prepare for the great day tomorrow, I want you to know that you have a place in God. Dear men, you have a place in God. You may be struggling financially. You have a place in God. 
Your marriage may be staggering. You have a place in God. Your marriage may be dead. You have a place in God. Your wife may be troublesome. You have a place in God. Your parents may be troublesome. You have a place in God. Your business may not be doing very well. You have a place in God. Your health may be failing you. You have a place in God. There may be a lot of uncertainty in your job. You have a place in God. Your faith may be staggering and full of doubts. You have a place in God. You may be struggling academically. You have a place in God. You may be entangled in generational dysfunctions. You have a place in God. This day and every other day, know that you are a son, a son who is loved by God, a son who is protected by God, a son who is sustained by God, a son who will always have a place in God. Dear men, tomorrow it is your day, and we will celebrate you, and we will celebrate you for days without end. Today we are saying that we are tired of celebrating you for only one day. We will always be with you. Dear men and dear fathers, those of you who may have failed, please know you may have fallen. Refuse to remain down. Rise up. Dust yourself. You have a father who loves you. You may have out of your poor choices and poor decisions, you may have wrecked your marriage. Our God is the God of second chance. You have a place in God. Please do not give up. I am praying for you. I will always pray for you. I want you to know that it is not by chance that you are alive today. It is not by accident that you are listening to Father CK today. It is by God's design. The design of God. You are not a product of accident. You are a product of God's design and plan. You have a place in God. Our gracious women out there, Please join me today as we celebrate all men, not because of tomorrow, but because they deserve to be celebrated. And please let join me the whole of this day as we pray for them. The moment you listen to me, send me a prayer request. Pray for my husband, for my dad, for my son. Did you know all the mothers who have sons with you, is a possible husband or a priest or a pastor or a great shepherd. Raise that small boy to be as the great man you would want him to be. It is going to be very, very important for you to remind him that you love him the way he is. And even for your son, Send me your prayer request. Please, Father, pray for my son. He is into drugs. He is doing very well in the university or in high school or in primary school. He is well behaved. Don't just send me prayer requests of boys who are struggling, of daddies who are struggling, or husbands who are struggling. Let us also learn to give thanks. When our sons are doing very well, let us pray for them and send prayer requests. When your husbands are doing very well, please send me your prayer requests. When your dads are doing very well and supporting you, send me your prayer requests. So today we are praying for them, all of them, all of them. That is my number, 0721-421-139. Today, today, 
Saturday the 19th day of June in the year of our Lord and Savior 2021. Let us make it a day to intercede, to pray for men, a day to encourage them, a day to validate them, a day to tell them that they have a place in God. Yes, you do. Thank you. May the Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Do have a productive Saturday. Dear men, I love you. Dear men, I am praying for you, and I will always pray for you as your priest and servant. Thank you.